Hello, big money tubers, and welcome back to Let's Play XCOM Apocalypse with me, Blue Ankylo. So, 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 uh, as we always begin our episodes, um, you know, I, I did a couple quick uh, raids in between, as I've done every now and then, and uh, I feel like Sirius is hurting, and it's uh, sufficient. Now, again, nothing... As you saw, I expect it was last episode where we just did a simple raid. Um, nothing terribly exciting has been happening on them, so I feel like it's time to start cutting those out more and just start trying to get some progress because we're well, we're probably 12 episodes in or so by now, and we haven't done a whole lot in the grand scheme of the war just yet. Uh, there may have been a couple soldiers that took a small wound. Um, maybe Taylor and Hector. I forget if they took the wounds on camera or off camera. Uh, but nobody died, and as long as you only take a small amount of fire like this, yes, you'll, you'll be fine. Okay, so um, let's see what our spoils of war are. I like to use this screen for a nice visual representation. And uh, you can see we got some cyclones, a couple big weapons, more stocks of the little weapons. Not bad, right? Uh, oh, you know what? I forgot I was going to... I was going to reset everyone's grenades and stuff off camera. I totally forgot. Well, if we get a mission today, I'll just run at low grenades. I'll try to remember to do that between episodes. Uh, so let's sell some stuff and see how much money we make. Hopefully tons and tons of money. Many millions. I'm going to gonna keep like 10 machine guns. I want to start equipping second base pretty soon. So um, it's probably time to start losing those. Uh, or not losing them, to, to holding on to them, you know, moving them over. You know, gee whiz, I'm so good with words. Uh, but let's sell all this stuff. I was... I keep talking about using the uh, the Marsec launcher. Maybe I'll hold on to one and maybe maybe one of our B team on the second base can use that just for excitement. Just to be just to be different because our, our missions, I don't want them to get too samey, right? Like I don't want to just do the same thing every time. So I want to throw in a little bit of fun every now and then like exploding the team with rockets. That'll help us cycle through the names really quickly. Uh, so Cyclones, we managed to get eight. I think I did two missions in between. It was a day or two ago my time, so maybe I forgot. Anyway, that's a reasonable amount of money. That's pretty good. Let's, uh, I'm going to spend a bit here. So I'm going to send everything to Zenobia base for now, but we're going to transfer stuff to New Sorpagal once it's kind of ready. But I need a couple suits of Marsec gear, so I'm probably going to have to strip the body units off of people that were currently enjoying the body armor. But anyone who's a hybrid needs a full set of Marsec armor, basically. So I'm going to buy maybe four sets. If I take more than four hybrids, uh, that's that would be insane. That That's as much as I want. And uh, any sets of Megapole. Looks like we can get two full sets of Megapole. That'll help my non-hybrid agents. Um, so at least we've got a little bit of gear to, to sort of start them out. Uh, I can't buy any more med kits right now. Unfortunately, uh, I need, I've got four mind benders, so that's enough for four psyops, if that's what we eventually try to use. We're out of stun grapples. It's probably all I really want to spend. Like, I've got a, a fair bit of spare money again. That's nice. Uh, that's enough money to actually recruit some people, probably. So, I think I must have assigned them off camera. You know, while I was traveling back and forth to do the raids, the uh, I, I did hire a scientist in between episodes, right? I think it was uh, this one with the super great skill. So, I'm still I still need more scientists, obviously, and I have to keep an eye on the uh, things like as we build new um, new workshops, quantum labs, and stuff. I got I got to try to preemptively buy a few scientists. But all in all, things are looking pretty good for that. And agent-wise, I think I was going to recruit the humans at the very least here for the second base. So there's a couple new names for us. And this is a pretty good robot. Look at all that accuracy. That's great. I will take a new robot every now and then. Um, how many... I need to figure out how many hybrids I've already hired. Uh, I guess this is all the new Sorpagal base, so... There's one, two, all right, so we've only got two. I'll get two more. These two, I mean, hopefully they're not bad. Four PsyOps is definitely 
more than I was really planning on ever getting. But this way we'll have uh, the, the opportunity eventually to try to show off some psionics later on. I still feel like early game, they're a terrible choice. But if we get them sort of now as we're getting towards the mid game, hopefully by the before the end of the game, we'll get a good use out of them. Also, uh, I'm going to buy a couple engineer. Well, it's five days away before the workshops are complete. Um, but I'll pick up anyone that's like around 90 skill because we're going to need 10 of them eventually. And I don't want to, to, you know, to finish the workshops and have no one ready to man them. And then uh, I should click OK so I don't forget. Uh, I was going to check if... I think I already looked at this. Sorry, look at me clicking around like a maniac here. Uh, I was going to check if we had any scientists worth picking up. I know my second biochemist lab is getting pretty close. And the last time we finished a biochemist uh, laboratory, we did not have enough biochemists. Like, they've been really stingy. So I'm going to pick up Manfred here. Uh, and then that's it. Okay, that'll do for now. Good enough. Try not to waste too much time, Blue. So, with that said and done, I've spent a bit of money. The only other thing I might spend money on would be... Uh, facilities, and I think I was going to do an advanced workshop. Oh yeah, but I wanted to build the med bay. So let's get that started. That's pretty expensive. And... I will need a side gym eventually, but even with the hybrids, I'm going to assign them to normal training first to try to build their strength and just their physical stats a little bit so they're useful. And then the Psy, Psy Gym for training their Psy stats, that will come a little bit after. Just so that they can do something, rather than starting with Psionics, spending a month in the Psy Gym, but not really being useful for missions at all. I, I'd rather have them somewhat useful and then try to get Psionics a little bit later. Hopefully that makes sense. Okay, so we still got a fair bit of money, nothing crazy. Uh, I'm expecting perhaps today or tomorrow to get another alien attack. I do have two fancy... Hawk interceptors ready to go. Uh, so let's split up my forces. To start with, I'm just going to put uh, in the two bases. Well, I say that. I still have... I should still split them up based on where the, uh, the alien gates are. So let's send... Laser, missile... Uh, hawk. We need laser and missile again. Man, I have lost a lot. Alright, so we're going to be sending four bikes, a car, and a jet. Sort of two groups like that. So, I like parking people over in this building because it's got a ton of uh, launch tubes. I think I've mentioned that before. And then, bang, 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 bong. These guys can go kind of guard. I want them, again, like I could put them right by the edge of the map, but just in case the aliens don't come out of that one... I want them to be available to move this way if they have to. So maybe somewhere kind of central in between the two uh, dimension gates. And that will probably do. I do apologize if you want to see the city more often. I find, in general, it's just much more convenient to keep track of ships and just your overall city from, from the map mode. Um, although I, I do accept that it probably looks cooler from this mode. Isometric city mode where you can see all the taxis and stuff flying around. Um, no enemy. No cult of serious cars. Possibly because we've shot down all their money or blown up all their, their resources. Uh, last thing is make sure... Okay, both of my hawks have the same attack setting, which is my sort of default laser mode for now. I think it's good. Aggressive to get close to your range. And then low altitude so you blow up a few less buildings. One thing that we might want to check up on every now and then is how the government is doing. Um, because the government, I believe, spends its money um, repairing stuff. Buildings, like, I, I think they pay a lot of money to help repair stuff. I think. Um, so far, though, they seem to be doing well. They've got 10 weeks worth of like, millions of dollars stacked up. So that looks good to me. Uh, let's, let's let some time go by. Got a couple recruits showed up. Hey, this changes a couple things. Light disruptor beam. Alien weaponry technology. Aliens weapon technology is based on a complex subatomic particle system. The disruptor beam is generated from an interdimensional power interdimensional power source. It propels subatomic particles which disintegrate molecules in their path. 
The weapon does not require ammunition, really nice, since the energy chamber appears to be a self-perpetuating energy source. Hey, we solved the power crisis, the energy crisis. Um, now, this, this light disruptor beam isn't the best weapon ever, but it's going to be clearly better than anything else we've got. Oh, we could build, we could research this. I'm not going to rush this one. This is another building. Uh, I think it's a one by one and it's just a straight upgrade to the um, vanilla security station. I've never really seen it work though because you need to position it smartly. So, you know. Um, so we're researching the big gun. I think we want to research these two um, systems next and maybe that will unlock our first uh, XCOM crafted uh, vessel, basically. We'll get that started. And now, let's see, before I forget, I'm gonna send both of my Hawks back to our main base because that's where the light disruptors are currently housed. And I'll have to split them back up again once we're rearmed. Because I think, well, we'll have a look at the stats here, but I think those light disruptor weapons are a straight upgrade over what we're currently using. So we've only got two of them. We used one to research it. I guess the, the scientists must have uh, played around with it too much. Uh, but if we look at the stats here, it's lighter. It does the same damage. It's got a little bit less range. It's actually less accurate. But like we've talked about earlier, Accuracy for laser weapons isn't exactly a good thing, or it's it's not... I mean, I don't know, 50% might be low enough that it's not great, but... Um, the main difference here, I guess, is that it has no ammo restrictions, so we'll never run out of um, ammunition for it. So, it's... I mean, I guess it's not really an upgrade in that sense, it's more of a side grade. It's a little... it's even slightly a downgrade in terms of range, but... Um, these are the only vessels that can equip it, and we've got two, so I feel like, hey, we'll give it a try. The next time the UFOs attack, I will try to zoom in and show it off. Seems fair to me. Alright, you guys get back to your bases. Your defense stations. Oh, uh, not both at the same time. There we go. So we're, we're finally starting to turn the aliens' tech against them in the air game. That should be exciting. All right, let's see what happens. More research. Multi-worm eggs. All right. We are blasting through the research pretty well, I feel. The gestation period for a multi-worm is approximately two days. During the t this time, the egg will protect itself with a weapon that launches a fluid containing microorganisms. These organisms consist of various types, some containing acids designed to erode metallic compounds, and others containing unusual enzymes that rapidly break down organic matter. Fortunately, the range of this weapon is limited. The alien embryos are not sufficiently advanced, advanced to be susceptible to psionics, like everything. It's annoying. But uh, yeah, this is one of the reasons why I tend to say don't worry about the eggs so much. They, uh, they can't move, obviously, and they can only fire at relatively short range, so they're usually not a huge threat. Um, right, this guy that we recruited is not... Actually, he is better. Oh, wow, look at that. I should have switched him over, but would have had faster research. What am I doing? Anyway, let's uh, biochemistry it up here. So, we're almost done the alien genetic structure. I think we need to continue doing all the multi-worm chrysalis type stuff. So, let's just keep working on that. All right, researching like crazy. And also making a little bit of money. Have I, have we successfully crafted a few more disruptor guns? The answer, my friends, is we made two. So we'll sell them, make a little bit of money. Honestly, it's, it's not bad. It's not a huge source of income, but it's a, it's probably, it would definitely pay for the scientists' um, weekly uh, salary. I think, definitely. I think. Yeah, I know. I, I'm pretty sure though. Alright, we've got more research done. Look at this. The alien genetic structure. Our initial results show that the distinct alien life forms are related genetically and form part of a complex life cycle. Wow. <laughs> Illuminating. The aliens are distinct and have a complex life cycle. Wow, I never would have guessed. It took them like three days of scientific research to figure that out. Hey, biological warfare, that's the big one. That's the first of the big ones. So we need a large lab. 
Luckily, we're only a couple days away from that, so that's perfect. And while we're waiting for the large lab, let's just keep banging out um, the next important research. Also, you can kind of see, th this might help us build a gun, and uh, that toxin might be quite useful. That's essentially what I've been trying to rush towards. So let's pick up the chrysalis here. Don't actually pick it up, though. All right, well, that was a boring day. Nothing happened there. We, been, we built a training area, and I think that's it. I did set, or until today when I recruited a couple, I was setting uh, agents here to start um, training as soon as the, the training area was finished. Although, we'll need the second one finished before too much longer. So let's, I know I recruited a few more people here when I got that money in. I just want to make sure everyone that can train is starting to train. So we start getting some stats. Especially, like we're talking about those hybrids. They're going to take a long time to train up. We might as well start as soon as you can. I think I recruited two humans and two uh, two more hybrids. So that should be four more altogether. And it's only going to be the R's. So I could just click the R's to be faster here. Just so I don't waste too much time. Alright, everyone's good. I'll be renaming those new recruits in between episodes, no big deal. I'm getting close to the end of my list though, which is quite impressive, but uh, that means we got more room for more fresh meat. All right, time, ah, uh, wait, one more thing. New day means check for scientists and stuff. So we've got technically two more humans that I might want to recruit, I'll think about it. Um, biochemists, 92 is really good. 80, oh, sorry, not to this base. Go to Zenobia. So we're still using a 73, right? Yeah, we definitely want the high 90s. And the advanced lab is almost done. I'm just going to pick up anyone that's higher than 80, because I think... I know it's it's we're almost out of uh, living space here on Zenobia. Maybe I should have built one more living space, but you know, I, I think we'll be okay. Um, two days away... I want to make sure that we can full speed ahead on that, uh, the first large research project, basically. Um, so that was good. Was there any quantum physicist worth picking up? Yeah, definitely want that 97. And everyone else is pretty average to bad. And engineering, there's a bunch of 80s. We are, the lowest one I see is 83. So that's not really an upgrade, that's a side grade. Uh, the second base will need some engineers eventually. Not it's a few days away. I'll pick up I'll pick up the 80s for now. I might be wasting a little bit of money here, but I want to be prepared to start uh, crafting stuff as quickly as we can. Alright. Yeah, that's it, that's it. We're good. Or soldiers, right. Let's, let's keep keep recruiting everything early on. Um so we're currently in base 2. We're at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. I'm going to want around 20, give or take. And I've got enough hybrids, so we'll just we'll hire the humans as they show up. I won't worry too much about their starting stats. The gym will cover it, essentially. Just wanted to speed through that. Trying to save a little bit of time here. Reassign a couple researchers quickly. Um... So 73 is out, 92 is totally in, 87 is better than 81, and that's as good as we can do. Let's switch out 88 for 97, yeah, and let's, no, yeah, no workshops here, okay. Uh, that's all done, good, good, good. That's it, okay, more time. I'm assuming the aliens will attack before too much longer. Or we're just going to finish all the research while they're sleeping. A large worm-like creature quickly develops inside the protective skin of the alien egg. This worm appears to contain the embryos of a further four life forms. We cannot tell how the next stage in the life cycle develops from the autopsy results, but the tissues will be useful for our toxicology research. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, pay attention. I feel like... The game kind of expected you to start researching with the eggs, and then the hyperworms, then the multiworms, and then the chrysalises, I guess. And I've kind of done them a little bit backwards, but, I mean, 
how would I to know you had to do them in a certain order? Or the game sort of thought that. Anyway, let's get all this chrysalis stuff. I think once these two are done, for sure those were all the prerequisites for our next big upgrade. Pretty sure, anyway. We'll go 90%. Anyway, here we go. Here we go. What do we get? Oh, we got a little poop ball. All right. All right. So we want North Squad, which is this group, correct? Yes. You're going to attack the poop ship. Go for it. And then the second ship is dun, 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 another poop ship. Great. All right. Well, other squad. Hopefully, I mean, remember, the aliens could attack from all three, in which case we'll have to split up even more. But, uh, shoot, what was... Uh, I lost I, I forgot exactly my split here. Was it one missiles and one laser? These were all the guys here, right? Oh, good. There's no red lines coming from the other base, so I got, I got the right split. All right. There may be a couple more. Let's see. Oh, someone's coming from the center. So there's a poop. I know. <laughs> there's there's the alien scouts coming from all three. So let's, uh, how do I want to divvy this up? Well, let's give it a couple more seconds. Anyone else? Yeah, here's another one. So two from down south. This one's just a probe. Two from the center. That's another probe. That's probably it. Alright, so I want to divert more of the north team, because we don't need the whole force to deal with that one UFO. Uh, I think what I'll do is I'll let the one Hawk Air destroy that. It should be fine. And then I'll send the rest of that group, which is all of those, I believe. We'll send them down to deal with this stuff, because... Oops. Oh, that's fine. One of the southern group can go up anyway. That's That's appropriate. I missed one. Who did I miss? This guy. There we go. Okay. Hawk Air Warrior goes up there. Most of this team will just focus on killing those. So probably the most dangerous group will be... Um, well, this is just a scout. But this UFO starts above building. So I got to try to keep an eye on it. Not very good with the missiles. Destroying all the buildings. Ah, ah, ah. All right. I got to see it on camera this time. So we need to go to the government senate. Uh-oh. Uh, that sounds important. How's this one doing? Haven't destroyed it yet. Oh, one of them got destroyed. Uh, one of the scouts got destroyed. So we need to reassign this group. Oh, that was kind of a mistake. So I had this group attacking the, the probe first. I probably should have had them go after the transporter first, but it's okay. And then these guys. Yeah, you should definitely... Oh, shoot. I'm selecting everything again. Ah! The interface is killing me. Um, This guy. Who is it? Okay, you know what? Deselect everybody, then select this guy, then click attack there. All right, there we go. Can I shift click here? No. Can I control click? There we go. Control clicking. Control, control clicking to victory. Okay, that looks better. Everyone's going to focus down another probe. That'll take a second. So this group, I, I can't imagine any UFOs dropped off over here. Uh, this group, he might have had time. I don't know. And then this group, we already know he is, he he was dropping off, um, well, the first one, the, the little poop vehicle was dropping stuff off. The scout probably can't. All right, so it's mostly just watch this. And our, this is our, one of our um, hawks. So we get to see it, the other one, right? Apparently I did this all wrong. This guy is supposed to be stopping this incursion. Oops. All right, well, we'll see what happens over here. Uh, you'll be fine, probably. Well, I say that. I, I really don't want it to lose any more of these, so you head on home. All right, please tell me you can shoot this thing down. 
We destroyed one of them. Oh, we're down to one left. All right, we're doing we're doing real good. This is this one. I I didn't send as many vehicles up to shoot it down as I originally planned on it. So that was, you know, just a mismanagement. You're going home. You should go home. All right, all right. They sent a, a relatively easy attack wave, so this is my own bad if I mess it up. Oh, there's some cops trying to shoot it down. Good job. The police. Oh, there's another. All right, at least I saw it. So that's... This building. This is a, a two government buildings. Government offices and government senate. All right. All right, shoot it down. Come on. Oh, no, I lost another bike. Yeah, I meant to send the Hawk error, because I'm pretty sure the Hawk could have 1v1'd it. But I, I definitely messed that up. Well, it's almost there. I wanted to show off the Light Disruptor, too. Oh, here it is. Let's see. I think the sound effects you're hearing, the new sound, is the uh, Light Disruptor. Well, we blew it up. But so landed right there. All right. Ah, got to clear out two infestations and pick up one UFO. All right, and that's an it's an unmanned that can still drop off a a aliens. That's kind of annoying. All right, everyone, head home, and let's try to clear these buildings quick. We'll start with. Uh, well, it's been a reasonably long episode, but I'll try to get one done today. Maybe what I'll do is I'll send one of my hawks to pick up um, the UFO. Ah, do I have enough soldiers to do two missions at once? Maybe. If I'd started equipping the second, I we're a little bit early for that. I, I I'm not going to rush that one yet. I probably have enough soldiers around this part to actually engage in two missions at once. But I'm going to wait a little bit longer on that one. Um, we'll, we'll worry about that a little bit later. So we'll send Greg, basically, to go pick up. Alright, there we go. Reset everybody. We'll go let Greg pick up the shot down UFO. Which is up here. There you go. And we'll let the big team go... I think we'll go here first. No, uh, uh, this uh, this one, this weird looking one, because that was the place that they got dropped off in first. And then I just need to remember, I also need to go to the Senate. Uh, <laughs> uh oh. Offices, right? This one, right? This is it. This is what it looked like. I'm pretty sure it was this building. Yeah, because it was another government building. Technically, we could just cycle through all the government buildings. Yeah, so it was that one. And that one, 100%, no problem, okay. Let's speed up that airtime. And let's get this out of the way. What? Was this not the, I'm sure we saw them drop in there. That one as well, not that one. This one, I'm sure it was. Well, I don't know what happened there. It, it... Sorry, everybody. The Senate, they, I clearly had a UFO teleporting enemies down into this one. How is it not infested? All right, well, I wish I'd saved it because uh, I probably lost a bit of reputation. I mean, they're still allied, so it's fine, but that's... So not only do the aliens sometimes spread out weirdly when they drop in, but sometimes they just fake you out. That's that's great. All right, well, let's send... Uh, is this building, right? Let's try this one. I'll save it before I engage, though, because I really don't want to lose too many... Um, faction points, or friendship points, whatever you want to call them, because of cheap hacks like that. That's, 
that's getting a bit obnoxious, I would say. All right, let's try this one. All right, well, at least this one was correct. Hopefully they're not somewhere else and there was some sort of bug where, you know, they dropped them off in the one building and then I check, oh, no, there's no aliens here. They already left and went somewhere else. Like, that would be really lame. Anyway, let's get this mission on the way. I feel like the good news is for today's episode, we did make quite a lot of progress. Like, we did lots of research. A couple days went by. Got a few UFOs shot down. Now we got to do a little mission. That's 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 good. It's better than doing endless, uh, you know, raids on uh, the Cult of Sirius. All right, so what have we got? Office building. Probably a 2x2. Two two. Yeah, almost. Well, it could be 3 over, but I bet you it's not. All right, so in my experiences, this building type often has quite a lot of aliens on the lower level, the basement. But you never know for sure. So we're starting out with Soul Reaver, going up here to have a look. This is a pretty big room. Let's just move everybody up this way for now. Maybe what I'll do is keep uh, a couple of them keeping an eye on the lower area just in case, oh, you know, a pauper comes running at us or something. That would be pretty sad. You guys reserve some time units just in case something comes up through the middle. Also, I should try to clean up some equipment here when I notice it. These guys probably should just duck so the people behind them get a couple shots. Uh, let's leave the middle group for last and do the edges first. So there's a couple rooms to check. You know, if I didn't care, I could probably just blow a hole through that wall and that would save some time, but uh, I won't do that. I want to keep the government happy. I'm actually... No, I'm pretty sure you can still lose um, reputation with the with the government. Even though you start allied. Allied? You know, words. Um, I'm pretty sure if you destroy too much, you can... You can cheese them off and eventually they'll stop paying you. And that would be sad. Alright, so I'm just going to leave these guys up top. Same kind of idea as the other place. I guess if something comes out of these doors, we got a couple shots at them before they chew these guys face off. And there's no other connections here, so the middle squad is going to stay on this side of the wall. Maybe check this. Yeah, they're going to check out that room for sure. That's the only sensible decision. And I'll keep, just like the other side, I'll keep a couple just... Just keeping an eye on the lower area. You never know. You guys you guys keep a close eye, sharp eye. Alright, let's go. Alright, we got no motion. Uh, except civilians. Of course there's civilians running around. <laughs> Target practice, right? I would never do that. Wasn't too many episodes ago that uh, one of our soldiers unloaded on a few civilians. Someone got like triple kill, didn't they? All right, Look around the corner. Uh, that's the fake brain sucker. All right, that's as far as I'm comfortable moving. I want to reserve a few time units, and we'll probably have maybe we'll split the party, as you do. We'll have three go this way to check around that hallway, and three head into here. That's probably appropriate. I reserved enough time units to get a few good shots. Let's check the lower level. If I was a betting man, I would expect aliens to be more in these underground areas. Oh, it's a call center. But it doesn't connect up. Well, that's annoying. All right, maybe we take group two and we just feed them through the tunnels. We don't feed the aliens. We uh, we lead them through the tunnels. Maybe that's maybe that's a better choice of word. All right, jump and jump. I love that you can jump. That thud 
is their armor absorbing damage, which is kind of hilarious. I mean, there could be... There's probably nothing over there. I should probably send most of them this way and start looking at all the uh, sort of tunnels behind the buildings. We'll get there. We'll get there. All right, let's go check this next big open area. Still not much going on. Been a very quiet map so far. That's what the creepy music signifies. Is there any reason... Is that a door or anything? Like... I know there's a door over there, but the second group will get there soon enough. I mean, I could probably shoot some... Uh, some bullets to open up some... Or some grenades or some explosive rounds to open up some passages, but... Don't think there's anything down there, really. Like, no easy way, well, you know, <laughs> no non-destructive way of, of getting into the uh, the hallways underground here. Which means the aliens can't get into there anyway, so we're pretty safe. Pretty safe, Blue Ankle 2018. All right. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much, civilians. All right. I wish the civilians, I'm sure I mentioned it before, I really wish the civilians gave you a, a bit of a hint on where to look for aliens. All right, well, if this is the edge of the map, which it is, where are my aliens at? Okay, there is a door over here. So I think this group will sort of head this way. I mean, I could split a couple more to head up there to support the middle team if I need to, but... Now, I assume if you jump off a ledge and it's too many Z levels down, you probably take some damage. I've never... I don't think I've ever seen anyone take damage from a one tile high jump, but... Uh... That doesn't mean it's impossible to take damage. I feel like four to check what's probably just a dead end hallway is more than sufficient. Um, the aliens have got to be more like in one of these dark areas, right? Let's see. Let's see if we can find something. It's too quiet. All right. Nothing here. Okay. We are swiftly running out of areas to look for aliens. Oh, I wish you hadn't opened that door, but... Well, now you have. It looks fine. Alright, well... Let's keep a move on. Try not to take this... Make this episode take so long that it's... Everyone's fallen asleep. I don't want to, like, completely block up the path, because then the civilians might waste even longer on the end terms part. All right. Uh, and then finally, the underground group that hasn't made it very far yet. It might be more likely that these guys find it just because they're in the underground section, but they've got a ways to go to actually explore this area. All right, so there is... Oh, there's a little staircase there. Oh! I don't think I've ever seen this area. We'll have to check it out. So, like, they have a call center type thing, and then they actually have, like, some balconies above it that you can only get to through the, uh, access... Whatever you go. Access tunnels, maybe? Go a peek around this corner. It might just be a dead end. Probably. Uh, no? Uh... Okay, it is a dead end, but not where I thought it would be a dead end. Alright, well, sorry about that. Uh, who is this? Mr. Scarphead, you've uh, ran into a corner. My bad. Well, lots of time units. Let's have a quick look around these corners. We're going to keep traveling along there with at least a couple soldiers. Go like this. And... You should have checked this little... Could be something hiding in the darkness. Okay. 
Well, I mean, I'm being thorough, but uh, the aliens are being really hidey today. All right, I think that's everybody. Oh, look, we found something. It's a terrible, terrible worm. Where are we, anyway? Okay, I see. All right, we got one worm. It is hilarious how it ignores all the civvies. It's more likely that we kill them here, actually. Alright, well at least we know where it is. We've got contact at last. Yeah, you better run. Yeah, get out of the way. All of you, get out of the way. If you block up this road... I've seen that happen before, where the civilians basically block up your path so you can't get past them. Unless you decide to kill them. <laughs> Which is always an option, right? It's their own fault for standing in your way. Pretty sure he opened the door we said clear and then... Eesh. Alright, turn four. Let's... Check this room before we overextend. Oh look, a brain sucker! That's a good spot. All right, Katie, don't get your brains. Oh, you don't have line of sight, technically. Uh, it's, interestingly enough, it's Rodica that sees it. All right. That's a miss. That's a hit. Hit. Dead. Yep, fortunately, they still die very easily. Okay. Some sneaky rooms over here that could have some more nasty nasties. But uh, we need to get our first kill of the map. Alright, I, I was planning on having this group maybe provide some flanking support. I changed my mind. They're going to stick together to protect against brain suckers. Alright. We should have a quick look into this room at least. Just in case. Looks relatively empty. There isn't up there, up, up level. Let's have a look around, just in case. Aha! We got two eggs and a spitter. Alright, well, I'm glad we checked this room out. Should have ducked before we started shooting. Well, Pixel, I think you got a couple hits in there. Not great, not great, but you got a couple. But you know what? The explosive ammo will be just fine for this situation. Take him out, Zach Nafin, whose name I'm probably horribly slaughtering. Uh, so this time we'll have ducking first. Miss. There you go. Good kill. Uh, do we have line of sight here? Figure we might as well kill them. Just in case we're in their line of sight where they could take a shot, I figure, you know. Like I've said, I'm sure you guys have noticed by now, if you don't kill them by the end of the mission, you just kill everything else and uh, they just die. Alright, so we got two people on that side. This is not a terribly strong anti-multi-worm force. I'm thinking if I can find a stun grenade or two, I'm just going to toss it sort of where the civilian is in the hopes that the worm comes for a little longer and uh, maybe just falls asleep. And if we knock the civilian out, it's not a great throw. Let's switch off the explosive ammo or we'll definitely kill that civilian. You know, I'm trying to save his life. Trying. All right, these guys, honestly, it might be smarter to move a couple more up. I still want to check behind this door first before I make that decision. Alright, I'll send one to check this corridor. Looks pretty clear. And I'll send two to check this corridor. We're getting close enough that we could be connected to that spitter egg combo. Sending one person alone is a little... Yeah, I'll send two this way because I feel like there's enough chance that something's over there. But I really want more support 
where we know there's a multi-worm. So I was thinking three or four would be enough at least. Hopefully. You're going to be enough, right, Soul Reaver? All right. Is that everybody? Probably didn't move the underground units yet. Well, let's, let's move them along. All right, got some good vision of this room. Very good. This is the kind of place I was expecting to find some more baddies, so... Good to know. Check around this corner. I know we're running low on time units, so this is getting a little dangerous. But it looks pretty empty. Okay. I, I kind of doubt we'll find too much else down these corridors, but... You never know. And, like, I'm going to check up here, but I, I would be really surprised. I don't actually know if this if this might connect to something up here. We'll find out next turn. I, I doubt it, but you never know. This is still one of those maps that I'm not super familiar with. All right, that's probably pretty much secured that area. I think that's fine. So you can turn around and... Head to the direction we know there's at least one alien, basically. Sure is nice when you got all that stamina. Who is this? That's some fine running, Leroy Jenkins. That's your your major strength is running. Uh sure. Don't let me forget about you, Mr. Scarphead. Uh I forgot about this one too. Look, it's going to happen sometimes. This one, uh, whoever that is, I didn't get a chance. They don't have very many time units. Hey, the alien killed the time unit. It's fine. I didn't kill them. The alien killed the time unit. You know what I mean. The alien killed the civilian. So that's better than when we shoot them, right? At least it's not friendly fire. <laughs> I don't know. There wasn't much else I could do to save the civilians. I, I made a firing line. We didn't take very many shots, if any. I tried to throw a smoke grenade. I guess I could have used, or a gas grenade. I could have tried a smoke grenade, maybe. All right. I wonder if it's possible that this is like the last enemy unit left. And seeing as they're such a hassle when they spawn their multi-worm children. Oops, no, 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 stop. Oh, I hate it when that happens. <laughs> I was gonna use the uh, stun grapple. Uh, in the more efficient manner. Did not work. Or, well, I mean, we hit it, we just have not put it to sleep yet. How much is it to fire this thing up close? Perfect. I mean, we have done... The, the stun grapple does quite a lot of stun damage. But it's probably nearly stunned. Try one or two more. Three? Four? Five? Okay, I don't know. I thought the stun grapple would work better than that, to be perfectly honest. Apparently this uh, multi-worm is made of very sturdy stuff. Alright, bullets it is. There we go. Put enough bullets in it to... We put it to sleep with bullets. Good job, uh, Gus. It took... It took, yeah, go ahead, stunning it a few times, and then Soul River stunning it a few times, and then, you know, Gus just put some bullets in it, and that totally knocked it right out. Lullaby Multiworm. Hmm, another kind of scary looking uh, section. We're going to not rush into that room because we probably wouldn't have too many time units left. I think most of our soldiers are running out of stamina now so uh, we have to be a little bit more careful with our uh, our moves. Having a wall between us is, and, and potential aliens is probably a good idea. Okay. He's asleep. If I put someone on top of him. As long as we don't fall unconscious in the stun gas, uh, that should keep him asleep. And then this room... Right, I messed this up by doing the group move. I wanted 
to use these guys to um, explore uh, where the spitter came from. But because I sort of wasted all their time units, I'm just going to have uh, Zach here just hold because I, I messed that up. Yeah, we're, we're definitely slowing down here. Too much running. All right. Uh, have a look around this corner. We'll have those. These two can move sort of into the big room. I'll have my southern two check out these little rooms first. All quiet. I mean, we know there's more aliens around somewhere. I just... They are uh, suspiciously... Absent. Ah, there we go. There we go. Finally, just had to say it out loud. All right, we've got another spitter. Not too bad. We've got an anthropod. Theoretically, could have brain suckers. Do we have enough movement points or time units to get behind them? I don't even know. Come on, game. Calculate. Calculate. Yes. <laughs> It's weird how sometimes it, it tells you how many you'll have and sometimes it doesn't. Oh, well, that was easy. It did not have any brain suckers. So that's nice. Let's just take some pot shots. Not bad. Three out of four. Good shooting, Apollo Turtle. I sure hope there aren't a whole bunch of other anthropods around that corner about to eat us. We'll see if uh, Leroy here. He's supposed to be fast. Oh yeah, he's so fast. Alright, well. No problem. Okay. Now, we're not in a terribly safe position. There could definitely be more aliens around the corner ready to eat uh, Apollo Turtle's face. And we don't have a lot of time units to support him right now. Hopefully he'll survive, though. Oh yeah, I was gonna check uh, some of these upstairs. I'd like to look at these areas. It's neat how these maps are laid out. I, I do quite appreciate that. Even if some of them are a little bit more frustrating to navigate, I do appreciate... Like, the developers put a lot of work in these map designs. I, I like them. They did a good job. Alright, that's pretty much everybody that's gonna count. No offense, but if you're way back in the corner... This, this, this mission is going to be over before you can get to the battle today. Sorry. I guess, uh, technically, it was only a, an alien scout, which is unmanned. So how many aliens can they really drop off? Like, there's probably not too many. They probably get a standard one brain sucker, one anthropod couple spitters and then if you leave them they start laying eggs and then they they grow but we you know we attack the building so quick it's fine i mean the other building that was supposedly infested didn't have anything so i guess you know maybe when you do your job well you just get these easy missions where there's not very many there's not very many aliens to kill i mean there has to be at least one left But I don't know where. Aha! Surprise! Die! Aha! Whole bunches of spitters. Well, they're probably the easiest enemy in the game. So who's this? This is Gus. Gus the Awful's getting all kinds of kills here today. Hey, we're done! I didn't even mean to click that so fast. Hey, good work. Well, that was not so bad. Honestly, even those missions I can probably start cutting out. I don't want to cut everything out. You know, you've got to play the game. But uh, those sorts of missions are kind of a lot of airtime and not a lot of action. And it's... But you I mean, like, I don't know going into them if it's just going to be a fluff mission or not. I never know for sure if we're going to get, like, serious uh, stiff, stiff resistance or not. That just happened to be a really easy mission. And I guess as long as we're fighting weak UFO squads, that's pretty standard. But I'd be willing to bet that we won't 
um, be fighting too many more of those scout and probe UFOs. I would probably put money on mostly seeing the the, uh, the transporters and escorts pretty soon. We've already seen them attack twice, so I, I expect they'll be transitioning into those pretty quickly here. Well, let's see if we can get to the end of the day. I'm going to put a save down, mostly just in case it turns out another building was infiltrated magically. Um, and honestly, if we get another easy mission like that, I'll probably just off-camera it between episodes. But I want to get to the end of the day, see what happens. Hey, it's the end of the week as well. Even more fun. So we're doing really well. That's another, you know, whatever percent that is. Uh, more than 10%. That's like a 12% increase maybe, give or take. Um, so that's nice. And uh, it brings our total income to 97000 per week. Unfortunately, we spend almost, well, about two-thirds of it, give or take, on upkeep. So we made a little bit. And it does add up. So, I mean, that's good. I feel like, in case you're wondering... Um, I don't think you can ever make enough money from your weekly income to really pay the bills and afford to expand your base. If you only use this money every week to, uh, you know, buy new gear and build new base buildings, uh, you, especially on Superhuman, you'd be so far behind the aliens. So, you, you know, you've, you've got to be using some sort of raiding or stealing enemy tech stuff. Now, this is good, though. We've unlocked some new uh, weapons. So let's have a look at those before we end our episode. We've got a new mini launcher. We've got a power sword. I forgot about the power sword. Oh, uh, yeah. You guys will probably like the power sword. We'll definitely want to buy a couple of those. Uh, we've got a lineage plasma cannon. That might be worth it for some of our air vessels. Uh, we'll talk about some of that. And heavy weapons control. Well, I'll show you that in just a second. All right. Uh, research complete. Convenience. A chrysalis is the most vulnerable stage of alien development because it possesses no attack mechanisms. Its skin is tough, but vulnerable to fire and incendiary ammunition, and a stiff slap. A new alien will grow inside the chrysalis and emerge after a period of three days. It seems that a variety of alien forms could develop at this stage, dependent on the genetic information carried by the hyperworm. The physiology of these new forms contains many new cell structures, we have now gained a significant understanding of alien genetics. Oh. But is it enough? It is not enough yet. I think once this is done, we're going to have some fun. But for now, let's just start nailing off more researches. We've got, I think, all the important ones done. So I'll just kind of go from the top down to get the rest of them finished. Okay, so we want to see... Oh, thanks. Thanks. That's great. I want to see what my new gear looks like. So, in the personnel equipment, we've got law. Why do I have law pistols? Get rid of those terrible things. Um. Doo -doo 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 -doo. So we've had this Marsec heavy launchers. We've seen this before. This is. Have we ever fired it? Have you guys actually seen? The cultists even use it? I've been doing really well at taking the cultists out before they even get a chance to fire it. So it's possible you guys haven't even seen this yet. So that, that may be my bad. Uh, but now we've got a mini launcher, which is uh, a similar type thing, except less... It's actually more accurate. Honestly, I don't think I've ever used it. Single-handed missile launcher. So lower damage missiles, but they're still guided? That's cool. High explosive would do 40 damage. Right, these are these are probably much better than the heavy launcher. Like, less damage, you know, 90 damage versus 50, uh, 50, 40. So this is like twice, over twice the punch. But, um, I think the turn rate is better. So this is actually a better homing missile. And you get five per ammo slot, I think. And you can fire them quicker, and it's more accurate. So this is probably worth trying out. I'll, I'll pick a couple up. Honestly, I actually don't think I've used it before. I totally forgot about this last time. So we'll try some mini launchers. I'll try to compare the heavy launcher to the mini launcher. Uh, what else did we pick up that was new? Oh, well, there should be a new set of armor. So let's buy, oh boy, eight body Marsec body units. That's really good. That's really, really good. Now I've bought, I've already got four of all the other parts. So what this will be is we'll, we'll save four of these for the hybrids. And then the other four will turn normal humans or robots into flying soldiers. But I won't give, 
I won't give them the weaker, lighter armor because I'd rather not get killed instantly. And now that there's a lot more Mega Pull, uh, I'm going to buy a five more. Now let's get it up to ten. I'm going to need a fair amount of regular armor to equip my second base. And I think ten of everything should be enough. Or, well, mostly enough. Also, I just don't want to run out of money. Um, we should buy the med kits while we can. Only one power sword. Totally buy it, though. And I'll sell my disruptor guns to keep making a little bit of income. I'll buy... I don't actually need any more mind benders because I don't plan on having more than four psyops, really. I'll buy the stun grapples, though, because we still have lots of aliens to capture, so you want to have a good supply of those for, for variety. And I think that's it for soldier equipment. Spent half my money. Now... They did reset the Hawks, so I could buy more Hawk Air Interceptors now if I wanted. I've got more hover bikes available. I don't really have enough money to buy these right now, so maybe after today's episode I might do a little bit of raiding. I don't know. I feel like I've done a lot lately, so maybe I'll take a break. Uh, this is the heavy weapons control, so, you know, one by one, two by one, two by two for, for um, equipment. And then it's it's only 30%, so it's it's... It's kind of less efficient than 20%. Like, this is, you know what I mean? Like, a 2x1 is 20%. A 2x2 two two is only 50% better. You know, it's only half as better. But it's the same, essentially, if you equipped two of these. So if you have a 2x1 and a 2x1, you get 20% plus 10%. Is, it gets redu reduced, which is just the same as one of these for the same amount of money, which is kind of silly. I'm probably not going to worry about these right now. Uh... There was another weapon, so they're going to sell us Lineage Plasma Cannons now. I might be interested in a couple of these. Yeah, I definitely want a couple of those. Something, well, I don't really have the money. Oof. I'd like to have enough money. I'd like to put these on the wings of our Hawks. Uh, I think these are probably the optimal wing weapons. Uh, one by three... Um, actually, surprisingly good weight. They're probably the strongest weapon at this point in the game. Um, it's just, you know, you'll run out of ammo, essentially. And then the other unlock was the Plasma Defense Array. I never really used these. It's for shooting down enemy missiles. It's like point defense, basically. I don't know. I don't know if those are really worth it or not. They're, I mean, it's kind of expensive right now. I don't have the... I don't really have the spare cash. But I do need to spend some more money on my air fleet. My, 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 I need more ships always. One more day and the biochemistry lab will be done. So let's buy some more biochemists. And then quantum physicists are still a few days away, but I'll pick up every 99 I can get. Oh. You know what? You can go wait in New Sorpagal. That's fine. And engineers. Oh boy. Oh boy. That's some good stuff there. Yeah, I'll take a 96, I'll take a 100. Not bad. And honestly, with three more soldiers, I think we'll have enough to basically move the... Assuming I can equip these guys. I'm going to try to do that between episodes. I'm going to rename some more people. And I'm going to send over some equipment to try to get this base operational now. Because I think that should be enough people. And although we're not done building all the base facilities... You know, we've got lots of living quarters, we've got stores, I've got another gym a couple days away, I've got my medical bay almost finished. This place is pretty much ready to start going, start kicking. So, I think we'll end the episode here. Over an hour, this was actually larger, longer than I expected. Um, we keep losing hover bikes. I kind of feel like we might be already getting to the point in the game where hover bikes aren't that great. They get shot down so quickly and, you know, you do pay for them. It might be wise to try buying another Hawk because I think... The aliens will have a pretty hard time shooting them down. Um, let me just fast forward a tiny bit of time. Just so that I can... What am I doing? Well, there's a bunch of... You know what? I'm not going to worry. I'm not going to show you on camera. What I'm going to do off camera is handle rearranging my soldiers, the equipment for them. Make sure everyone's got grenades and stuff. Uh, I'll probably spend... I might buy a few more grenades. You know, if, like if I'm equipping base 2... I might find out that I don't have enough uh, 
of, of like stun grenades or anything so i might move a f i might buy a few more that kind of stuff i'll just handle some of that base management off camera because i feel like you guys have probably seen enough of that by now and then next episode we should start with two bases equipped with a hawk of their own each and i'll need to start making some money so we'll talk about that next episode and uh we, we still have lots of stuff to buy is what i mean like i, I want to buy more more of an air fleet and i want to buy more uh more air to air weapons i want those i want those lineage plasma cannons those sound good all right that's definitely don't do that i'm gonna do that every time uh i, I feel like escape should really bring you to the main menu Anyway, we're gonna call that an episode and hopefully hopefully this week now that we're on week three we'll start to see some new aliens and start uh expanding our uh destructive well, definitely the research is going to continue. Like, we're really not very far off of some very powerful uh, new weapon. Where is it? This one. We've got some new weapons coming very soon. So, anyway, that'll be something to look forward to. Anyway, thanks for watching, folks. Hope you guys have enjoyed and are continuing to enjoy the XCOM series. I will see you next time for more Apocalypse.